The scene begins with a bustling crowd in Luneta Park, where people from all walks of life have gathered for a significant event. The Filipino revolutionaries are discussing their plans to liberate the country from the Spanish colonial rule. Suddenly, Jose Rizal enters the scene dressed in a Barong Tagalog holding a copy of his book, Noli Metangere, and he addressed the crowd. My fellow Filipinos, we must unite and fight for our rights. He passionately speaks about the injustices suffered by the Filipinos under the Spanish rule and the need for reforms. One revolutionary agreed. Rizal is right. We need to take action. Suddenly, a Spanish guard approaches Rizal, clearly agitated by his speech. The Spanish guard demanded, You there! Stop spreading these ideas! The crowd grows tense, but Rizal remains calm and composed. Rizal responded, We have the right to voice our grievances peacefully. Our words will pave the way for a brighter future. Did you hear some sayings like, Ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa paroroonan? Or, ang hindi magmahal sa sariling wika, daig pa ang hayop at malansang isda? Or, wala mang aalipin kung walang paaalipin? Those were the sayings of Jose Rizal that made him a remarkable personality until the present. We only know Jose Rizal as our national hero and the writer of Noli Metangere and El Fili Busterismo. Despite those facts, do we know Jose Rizal behind those works? Who really is Jose Rizal? Let's go and find out! A name that echoes across Philippine history is Jose Rizal. He represents unshakable patriotism, academic excellence, and the courageous fight for freedom from colonial oppression. Born on June 19, 1861, in Calamba, Philippines, Rizal's life developed as a fascinating tale of struggle against oppression and a monument to the strength of knowledge and nonviolent activity. Rizal was not only a writer. He was also a visionary who promoted education and nonviolent change as the means to liberation. Under Spanish authority, he thought Filipinos should be treated equally and given the education they needed to fight for their rights. A generation of Filipinos motivated by his views strove to recover their honor and independence. Because of his support for reform and his exposed of colonial inhumane acts, Rizal became a target of the Spanish government. Before meeting a tragic end, he endured exile in several places, including the Pitan and eventually Manila. On December 30, 1896, he was detained, convicted for sedition, and finally executed by a firing squad at Bagumbayan, Manila, what is now known as Lunata Park. The Filipino people were inspired by his martyrdom, which sparked the Philippine Revolution. Facts about our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. As we all know, Dr. Jose Rizal is the only name introduced to us back to when we don't know much about our history. But there is more to his name. His full name is Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialonda. He was born on June 19, 1861 in Calamba, Laguna, where most part of the Philippine Revolution happened. Another fact about his name is that Jose's real last name, which is Mercado, was a hot name targeted by the Spaniards. He changed his surname to Rizal to protect his identity, which was considered ilustrado during the Spanish time and entails the benefits a Spaniard can get. Moving on to the third fact, which is on how he is as a student. Our national hero would be the best student if he were to live in our time because back then, Rizal was a brilliant student. He studied medicine in Manila and at the age of 21, he traveled to Spain to complete his medical degree at Universidad Central de Madrid, where he was conferred the degree of licentiate in medicine. He went to Paris and Germany to specialize in ophthalmology in part because he wanted to cure his mother's failing eyesight, like every Filipino loving son would do to their family. 
Knowing the fact that he is brilliant, it is no surprise that he knows a lot of language. He was a polyglot. According to historians, he learned several languages and these are Arabic, Hebrew, Filipino, Ilocano, Visayan, Subanon, Chinese, Latin, Spanish, Greek, English, French, German, Malay, Sanskrit, Dutch, Japanese, Catalan, Italian, Portuguese, Swedish, and Russian. No wonder he knows his ways when it comes to ladies with different races. Another fact about him since it was mentioned that he studied in a different country, um, when he was studying in Spain, Rizal had to pawn a ring owned by his sister Saturnina just to pay for his exams. But he didn't want his family to know or his family to get worried, so he only mentioned his victories and excellent grades in the letters addressed to his family. This tells us that our hero can be very cunning for his own good. So last fact about Rizal, uh, basing it off of history, we know that the Spaniards' cruelty were inhumane. Rizal stuffed unknown papers in his pockets and shoes on the evening of his execution. He did this assuming that his body would be turned over to his family after the execution. But as we all know, his body was dumped by the Spaniards' officials in an unmarked grave in Paco Cemetery. The papers had since deteriorated, the contents of which were never identified. Jose Rizal, an activist, is one of the reasons why we have the freedom we have now. That's why he is acknowledged as our national hero. Jose Rizal's works and contributions are famous all over the globe. He has a variety of works from novels and essays to poetry, plays, sculptures, and paintings. Famous novels and essays of Jose Rizal are No Lime Tangere, Novel 1887, El Filibusterismo, Novel 1891, Sequel to No Lime Tangere, La Indolencia de los Filipinos, Essay 1890, The Indolence of Filipinos. Sa Mga Kababaihang Tagamalolos, Essay 1889, To the Young Woman of Malolos. Alin mang lahi, whatever the race, a condiman attributed to Dr. Jose Rizal. Some of his poetries are A La Juventud Filipina, English translation to the Philippine U. Mi Ultimo Adios, English translation, My Last Farewell. And Mi Retiro, English translation, My Retreat. Some of his plays are El Consejo de los Dioses, The Council of Gods, Junto al Pasig, Along the Pasig, San Huestacio Martir, Saint Justa, the Martyr. Some of his sculptures are The Triumph of Science Over Death, and some of his paintings are Saturnina, Rizal, and Oil now being displayed in Rizal Shrine in Fort Santiago. Dapitan Church, Curtains in Oil made in Dapitan in 1984. An oil painting on a pair of Mother of Pearl shells painted in Dapitan and given as a token to Doña Leonor Valenzuela and later on passed on to Doña Margarita Valenzuela. Lastly, he fights for our freedom by using his pen to produce his poems and novels and his patriotism for the Philippines. He proved that words are an effective weapon in this battle for our freedom. Rizal also showcased the oppre that oppression can be conquered without using cruelty and violence. He also demonstrated how one can liberate a country without executing an individual. Good afternoon, sir. What is your name po and department? I'm Mr. Rufo De Leon and I teach in the education department. Okay po. So, our question for today is why we should choose Rizal as our national hero po? Well, uh, since uh, Dr. Jose Rizal is, uh, you know, he's one of our heroes, and I think he has contributed much to the 
uh, to the freedom and to the welfare of the Filipino people and because of his, of his heroism. So when it's heroism, someone is a hero and uh, he sacrificed himself for the benefit of uh, his country. Um, yeah, that's all. I think it's heroism that speaks about uh, why Dr. Rosario is our national. Thank you, po, sir. So, good morning. Ay, good afternoon, ha? So, what is your name po and department? Uh, I am Lorenza de Guzman. I am the chair for the education program. Um, I also teach uh, education courses, uh, major education courses. Okay, po. So, for, for our question for today is, why we should choose Rizal as our national hero po? Okay, so why Rizal? As we all know, Sir Rizal is one of the uh, one of the well-known figures in Philippine history, right? So it's because of his political writings that led us Filipino into a um, peaceful revolution through the use of through Jose Rizal's um, writings against the Spaniards. Um, uh, political figures. So it led to his execution because of that he he was um, executed in Bagumbayan or also known as Luneta. He sacrificed his life for us and because of that um, I think that's one of the main reasons why uh, we should choose Jose Rizal as our national hero. Okay po ma'am. Thank you po. Thank you so much Okay. Po. Hi, I'm Nariza from Jose Rizal University, here to conduct an interview regarding Rizal about our subject in Lives and Works of Rizal. Uh, can you state your name, your program, and what university you're attending? Hi, Nariza. I'm Alexandra Isabel Bonner, a BS accountancy student from Rizal Technological University. Okay, so I just have one question for you. Um, why should we choose Rizal as, as our national hero? Um, we acknowledge Rizal as our national hero because um, he was able to express his thoughts and opinions clearly by using his intelligence. Um, and without resorting to violence, he made Filipinos realize the oppression they were going through under the Spaniards. So, good afternoon. Sa inyong dalawa, um, I'm Melissa from Sir Rizal University. Um, I just want to know what's your name, school, and program. I'm Joanna Iscarilia from St. Jude, Manila. Uh, course ko po is BSHM, uh, Hospitality Management. Um, my name is Lian Christine L. Jemzon po, and nag-aarap po ako sa St. Jude College, Manila. And yung course ko po din po ay BSHM 15, Hospitality Management. Alright, um, may isa lang po akong question. Um, why we should choose Rizal as our national hero? Kasi si Rizal is may pagmamahal siya sa bayan. Like, um, kaya niya isakripisyo yung buhay niya para sa, para sa bayan. And how, how about you po? Ang Pilipino ay sentimental. So, si Rizal po kasi parang sentimental siya sa mga ano natin. Parang history. And may siya yung taon na unahang nagbukas sa kaisipan ng bawat Pilipino. Alright, um, that's all but thank you. So, good afternoon po. I am Altea Mariti Maho Pasqua from Jose Rizal University po. Kayo po, ano po ang name niyo po? Uh, my name is Vince po. Uh, from Surigao City. Okay po. Um, I have a short question lang naman po. Why we should choose Rizal as a national hero po? Hmm, siguro for me is, the main reason we choose Rizal as our national hero is that because he's the one who inspired many Filipinos back then mm -hmm. to to revolutionize like he's the one who educate a vast ma vast majority of Filipinos of what the Spanish done to us mm -hmm. so he's the catalyst for change for us to get to get our freedom Good afternoon po Huya. Ako po si Neriza from Jose Rizal University. Magkoconduct lang po ng interview for a project. Pwede po bang magpahilala kayo? Uh, ako nga pala si Manalo Ruben, uh, ice cream vendor sa Luneta. Okay po. So yung tanong po, bakit po natin pinili si Rizal bilang pambansang bayani ng ating bansa? So pinili natin si Rizal sa uh, naging bayani ng ating bansa sapagkat marami siyang ay ambag sa ating 
bansa. Uh, Unang-una yan, napagsalat siya ng El Pulibis Turismo tsaka mga Nolimitang Hire. As we bid farewell to this exploration of Rizal's remarkable life, let us remember that his story is not just a chapter in history book. It is a living testament to the power of individuals to ignite change, challenge the ta status quo, and stand up for their beliefs. Jose Rizal's words and actions serve as a timeless reminder that every person has the potential to make a difference regardless of the circumstances they find themselves in. We hope this journey through the life of Jose Rizal has deepened your appreciation for his contributions and the rich history of the Philippines. Let us continue to honor his memory by striving for the ideals of freedom, justice, and education, and by working together to create a better world for all. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the life and legacy of Jose Rizal. If you found this blog post insightful, do not hesitate to explore more about his iconic figure and share his story with others. Together, we can keep the flame of inspiration burning bright. So let us stay curious, stay inspired, and may the spirit of Hazari continue to guide us towards a brighter future for all. Bye!